this tale is Najradim and his best coat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Najradim was a farmer. He had a vineyard. And he was a wise man, and he was a good man. Well, he was mostly a wise man. <laughs> Sometimes he did foolish things, but he was such a good man that the villagers forgave him when he did perform something a little foolish and unexpected. Nasruddin had been working in his vineyard all day long and was on his way home looking forward to a quiet evening with his, life, with his wife when he saw his good friend Aziz rushing the other way down the road wearing his very finest clothes. Aziz, where are you going? You have such fine clothes on. Nasruddin, don't you remember? Tonight is Mahmoud's party. And we've been invited. And Mahmoud was the richest merchant in town. And Nasruddin thinks, he says, yes, I was invited. Yes, and it is getting late. I will join you, and we will go to Mahmoud's party. So he turned his donkey around and went with Aziz into town to Mahmoud's party. And they got to Mahmoud's door, and they were let into the house, and people were talking and, and enjoying each other's company. And each time Nasruddin came up, to one of his friends to say, oh, hello, what a good day it's been. It was as if he wasn't seen. And the friend would turn and talk to someone else. Oh, what a beautiful day this is. Isn't this a lovely party? And the friend would turn away. And he thought, well, this is odd. You know, but that's OK. You know, this is a great party. And the time came for all the guests to be seated at the party. And as they were seated around the tables, there was no seat for Nasruddin. And he leans against the wall and thinks, well, this is certainly odd. Mahmoud, my good friend, how generous of you to have such a party and to invite us all and to feed us such wonderful things as I see before us. And Mahmoud continued to talk to the man sitting to his right. And slowly Nasruddin looks down and he sees that his boots are covered with the mud of the field. And that his pants are those that he has worn all day. And they have patches on them. And his coat is sweaty. And he says, ah. And slowly he leaves Mahmoud's home and walks with his donkey back to his own home where his good wife Fatima has his clothes laid out and has a a basin of warm water for him to wash in, knowing that he had this party tonight. She was getting a little worried. It was rather late for him to be coming home from the vineyards at this point. So Mahmoud quickly washed and brushed his hair until it shone. He put on his best coat, his best turban, and he hurried back to the party. And as he walks in the door, Aziz says, Ah, oh, Nasruddin, it is so good for you to come. And Mahmoud looks at Nasruddin, we have been waiting for you. Here is your place right next to me. Please, come, sit, eat. And Nasruddin sits and thinks, this is a lovely party. And as he takes a big ball, he says, what say you, coat? Yes, indeed, you may have some. And he places the meatball into the interior pocket of his coat. Mahmoud looks at him a little oddly, but sometimes Nasruddin does odd things. And then, Nasruddin took a handful of pilaf. What is that you say, coat? Well, of course, coat. And he places some pilaf into the interior pocket of his coat. And he continues to do this with each item that is presented from the, from the servers at the feast. And Mahmoud finally just can't deal with this and says, Nasruddin, my good friend, why are you feeding your coat? <laughs> and Nasruddin says, oh, but I thought that was who you invited. Because when I was here earlier without it, you didn't notice me. <laughs>